Hi everybody, it's Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations and I am coming to you tonight live. Um, one of the perks about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that you get to order ahead of time so that we can make all these beautiful samples for you guys so that way when the catalog goes live you can see um, all this goodness that we've already made. So anyway, I have my box of goodness sitting right here and I was going to go through it with you tonight. Um, this is our new catalog. I cannot show you the inside, but this is the outside of our beautiful new catalog. And this is one of our pretty new in colors. This is the Seaside Spray, or at least it's pretty darn, pretty darn close to that. Hey, Shell. Yep, that's our Seaside Spray. And that is our pretty peacock. All right, and we have terracotta tile. Hey, Karen. Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose, and Pretty Peacock. Now, we also have Purple Posy. Purple Posy, we were not allowed to order um, in our pre-order because there is a problem with the ink, and Stampin' Up! would rather get it fixed and actually pull it and then reissue it for sale than to um, have to recall the pads. So, um, Purple Posy is not in here, but I'm going to show you the color because I got the paper. So, let's go ahead and put these aside for just one second. And I'm going to show you what's inside the box. All right. So every year with the new in colors, you get inks, ribbons, markers, and such. So we were able to order the inks. We were able to order the ribbons. And I just think the ribbons, Karen, you have to see these in person. I don't know if you ordered them or not. But these are the in color ribbons. So that's your Seaside Spray, Terracotta, Tile, Rococo Rose, Purple Posy and Pretty Peacock. But the, I know, yes, you do like that blue. I knew you would. Um, but these are really nice um, thin linen. I don't know if you can see on the live. Wait, there we go. Thin linen and then um, eyelet down the edge of the, both edges of the ribbon. These are really pretty. And I'm going to make my traditional, hey Pam, I'm going to make my traditional new in color cards um, using this ribbon. So I will get those done tomorrow and um, get all but the purple posy one posted. So you can see those, but these are really, really pretty. All right. So I'm gonna put those over there. All right. We have coming out the new catalog, a new tag punch. All right, I love tags. We had a tag class um, in uh, December, okay, where we made these tags. All right, and we have that tag punch. Now we also have this tag punch. All right, isn't that pretty? And it coordinates with the stamp set, but right now I was just interested in the tag punch. So I got that in there. Let me move my little tags over. Uh, another punch we have is the Floral Essence Bundle. And um, it just punches out the flower your leaf punch from the um, daisy bundle from this year's catalog will punch out this leaf. All right, but you punch out the flower, punch two of them, stack them together, curl the edges, and you get a nice 3D flower. So that's floral essence. Uh, we're actually going to use the stamp to look at our in colors here before we're done. So I'm going to put that aside. All right, so you know we have sketch people. Look at that one, a good man. So we have those those nice sketches that go with um, the beautiful you, that go with um, Artfully Aware from our Occasions catalog. But I love that all these sketch people are are coming back to to join us because I really I really enjoy using those. I knew you'd love that set. It's so pretty. I, so I can't wait to do something with that. That's going to be great for watercoloring and blending. All right. Are you ready? We have pigs. We love pigs. But wait. I love the cows. Aren't the cows cute? I love them. Um, over the moon for you. You're utterly fantastic party till the cows come home. That was you last night, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, dream big. Cows it going. Look at these cows. Aren't they cute? 
I love them. And they're going to be fun to color, too. And Pam, these should work great on our scanning cuts, too. Since there's no dies to go with them. All right. Speaking of stamp sets that have dies to go with them, there are a bunch in this catalog. So I posted no pigs. We have pigs. I already have pigs. That's how I made this card that I posted. Hold on. See, that's how I made this one. It was with the pigs. But now we have cows also. So um, there are other farm animals in the catalog. I just can't show them to you yet. But um, there on the top is always list. Clearly, my little my little pre vet girl. All right. Um, so we are discontinuing carrying the big shot. We are discon we discontinued our relationship with Sizzix, um, and now we're going straight to the manufacturer to have our dyes made. So our dyes are made a little bit differently. And I have to say, I use these with Kathleen. And Kathleen, if you're out there, hi. I told you I'd say hi, even though you can't always get on from from your house but anyway um Kathleen and I were playing with these dies today and they cut beautifully so <laughs> now now um all right so now our dies instead of being called thinless are being called stamp and cut and emboss dies so these are our stitched nested label dies okay and I don't know if you can see but the die is this thick all right, and it's going to give you the double stitching. So it's going to stitch your inside piece and your outside piece before it cuts it out. Um, and I wish you could feel this, but it's raised very nicely. We only had to make it make it take one pass through the big shot um, for it to cut all the way through. It was really, really sweet. So I am happy so far with, with our new dies. But so we have these stamp sets. We have new stamp sets that coordinate with dies. Okay, this one is called, it starts with art. All right, and I like the set. It coordinates with our crafting together set that we did keep, it's not being retired. But we have um, blender pen, marker, and colored pencil this time instead of pens. We have the cute little binder clip, the cute little um, ink refill bottle. You paint my world with happiness. Follow your art. I like the phrases. And in this ribbon where it goes into the um, the heart right there. All right. So there's a red rubber. But then we also have coordinating dies. And some of them are stitched. So this is going to give you stitched ribbon, stitched buttons, stitched eyelet. Okay. There's our pens. There's our ink bottle. Uh, this one goes around the ribbon. So you can see it'll go around the ribbon and cut out the heart when you stamp it. So I like that. Um, little, got little eyelets here, little buttons, little sequins, little tag. Really cute set. So I'm excited to play with that. All right, another one that we have that has coordinating dies is Sailing Home. Now this one is one of our distinctive stamp sets. So when we um, ink it up, we're gonna see all this detail that you see here, right? So think about it, different from the cows or the art set where we're stamping and we're getting the outline and some detail that way. The distinctive process that Stampin' Up! is working on patenting is they actually take a photo and create the stamp from the photo and it gives us this texture, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous when we stamp it. Um, looking behind me, to find a card. Hold on. There we go. Looking behind me to find a card. So this is done with one of our distinctive stamps. So this is our healing hug set. And can you see all the detail in the rows? Well, that's the kind of detail that's in the stamp set as well. All right, so this is Sailing Home. You're here, you're here, Kathleen, you did it, yay! All right, so this is Sailing Home, and Sailing Home comes with coordinating dies. So we have the rope, we have a label. Um, well, there's the knot, there's the longer end of the rope, there's a sailboat. Now, the other different thing with our dies, I like this, um, this tag with the stitching here. All right, so the other thing that's going that's new with our dies is they will fit exactly around the image. 
okay? When you stamp it, it's going to fit exactly around the image. No white space. We are making our dies to be tight fit. Okay, I, I love that. I'm not a fan of the white space. I've gotten used to it, but um, I prefer a tight fit. So I'm very excited that that's the way our dies are going to be um, working with these stamps. All right, how did I get it off of there? Do we know? Do we know what I did? It doesn't matter. I'm going to change all this when we're done with the live anyway. Okay, let me just stick these in here. Um, so I store my dies inside my um, my stamp boxes. So I'll get my stamps. I'll take the backings off. I'll attach them to my case. Then I'll put the dies on a piece of magnetic uh, vent cover from Lowe's and put that in the case. And this way it's all together when I go to use it. All right. So that's that one. All right. Kathleen, you made it in the right amount of time. Okay. So this is her favorite bundle. Because it's got flowers. Look at, oops, sorry, 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 I ruined it. Look at that. Good morning, Magnolia. Isn't that pretty? It's such a great design to be able to color. All right, there are dies that go with it. Come on. The Magnolia memory dies. And you do get the whole big flower. We stamped it today. It stamps beautifully. I did cheat. Kathleen and I went through my box earlier today. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Look at that. An exact match. I love it. Just right, right tight to the image. I love that. And the flower, I mean, look at the size of it. Let me grab a card again. That's all that you're going to need, right? You would stamp it, cut it out, and there is the focal point on your flower, on your card. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's great and fantastic to color. The shading that you're going to get is just incredible. So, um, it is, because it's so big, it's a double stamp set. I already condensed mine down. If you take punch them all out of their backing, they will all end up fitting into the one stamp case. And that's how I like to store mine to try to save, um, save space. And I still have room for my dies to go in. All right. So that is that. So those are the three sets that I got that have coordinating dies. So during the pre-order, we're only allowed to order um, certain things from a list. Um, and those were the top things that I had wanted. Um, all right. The other thing is there's always going to be new host sets when we have a new catalog. So... Even though it was, mine was a demonstrator order because it was over $150, I was able to earn a host set. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at the fairies. And this is one of our host, set, host sets, New Wonders. Um, and it's all distinctive as well. I just love it. So all this shading is in the stamp. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's all in the stamp. Um, I just love it. So I cannot wait to use this one. I can't wait. It's so cute. All right. Let us move on to, we have some twine. I know, don't you love the fairies? I just, I love it. Um, this is part of our um, sail, Come Sail Away suite. And this is navy and crumb cake twine. Isn't that pretty? I just love the colors. I'm so glad we have paper in these colors because those are my colors. All right, so it's the navy and crumb cake. I've got Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo. And you'll understand this when I show you the paper. But look at this ribbon. So this is like a, um, it's like a, it's a woven ribbon. And this is done in the crumb cake and white, I believe. It's not written on there. I'll have to look. All right, and then um, this is a twine, and it's a green twine, and I believe the color is Mossy Meadow. So those are really nice, and they'll go with the paper, and I'm showing, saving the paper for last. I always do, but I'll show you the paper. All right, so the Daisy stamp set stayed. The Daisy stamp set that we all used last year, uh, actually I have, so this stamp set, Amy made these for on stage in November. 
right? So this one right now has a jewel in the center. Now we have cute little yellow flower centers that will stick in there. So we could put our flower center in, whoops, hello, I got little centers going everywhere. We can put our flower centers in and have our actual, come here, balance, or whatever, and have our actual daisy. So those are kind of nice. You get 18 of them um, in the package. So those are fun. I needed to, to pre-order those because I wanted to see what they look like. All right, we have our Come Sail Away Trinkets. I love it when we have, when we, in the holiday catalog, when we had these in snowflakes. They weren't very thick, so they weren't super heavy. Sorry, I don't want to fling these all over the room. Come on. There we go. All right. But we have we have anchors and we have ship's wheels. Aren't those cute? I like those. Hey, Jen. I like those. So I got those. I can't wait to use those with that... Um, twine. All right. So let me put those back here. Put those back here. All right. Then I got the Magnolia Lane cork embellishments. Not quite sure what um, to do with them. I'm guessing we can stamp on them with stays on with the cute little tag, but these are, um, these are cork. I'm sure there's, I'm sure we can color them with the blends. Or something but these are cork I don't know I wanted to see what they look like in person so I got them we'll see I'll get, if anything I'll end up using the one package so we have a year all right so also in the come sail away suite of products we have memories and more cards so if you're into pocket scrapbooking or letterboxing or just wanting to use them as card um, layers I got them because you know, they're stuck in here now. They're really pretty. You can color them with alcohol and, can color, and colored pencils. Cool. Thanks, Pam. I knew you could. I had a feeling you could. I just didn't know with what medium. I figured I'd experiment, but thanks for uh, doing that. Anyway, look at the colors. You could use these as um, scrapbook page embellishments. You can use them on cards. I like them, but I'm gonna, I haven't shown you why I got them yet. I just like all the patterns and it coordinates with the paper. But in the big four by six size, there are laser cuts. Can you see that? Look at that, isn't that pretty? That's a laser cut. So you could use it together. You could cut it in half and separate it. There's little um, sticker embellishments in here, but it was honestly, Look at that. Honestly, the laser cuts that sold me. Here we go. This is my favorite. Look at that. I could definitely think of some um, pirate scrapbook pages from when my son was young that I could put this on. So that's where my head was with those. So I'm excited I got those. And I'm never going to get it back in the box the right way, so we're just going to stick that aside. All right. Are you ready for paper? So I'm excited. So every year we get new in color paper. Uh, actually, we get new designer series paper for the in colors and for all of our current ink colors. I like last year that they did it in these little six by six packs um, because for most of us that make cards, um, this makes the pattern smaller, right? Well, if you recall in the occasions catalog, we had this gingham gala paper that sold out real fast and then it finally came back in and it sold out again well are you ready for this we have gingham in every single color in the catalog i'm so excited sorry i really like gingham um but that's one of the patterns and uh this is our in color paper but we will have it in every single color in the catalog i know it's the little things that excite me but um but look at the patterns so these are our in colors Right, so we have the terracotta tile. We have the seaside spray, the Rococo rose. Okay, look at that purple posy. So it's okay that I don't have the ink yet, but look at that, look at that paper. Isn't that pretty? 
But wait, since you're saying I'm funny, look at it in gingham. Yes, I love gingham paper. All right, sorry. And the um, pretty peacock. All right, so that's our new in color paper and I love the patterns. Um, and I'm going to get working on a cow card with some of that gingham paper because I like gingham. All right. Um, in full size, this is Purple Posy. Isn't that pretty? Jen, does yours work? Did you, Jen went to on stage. Um, did your Purple Posy, does it work or is it one of the ones that has to be replaced? I'm just wondering what the color looks like stamped because it is beautiful in paper. So Jen went to on stage. She was able to get hers a couple weeks ago um, before they saw the defect. And some of them are defective and some of them aren't. And I love the fact that Stampin' Up! just pulled them all. Um, and they'll fix them and they'll replace them. So you get the feeling I like the gingham just a little bit. But look at the Seaside Spray. Look how close it is to the Seaside Spray band on the top of the catalog. I mean, that's the one thing I love about our colors. Our colors are our colors, no matter what. Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, and Pretty Peacock. All right, so those are the new in colors. Are you ready for the designer series paper? Because this paper is gorgeous. All right, so we have a mosaic suite. I, I know you love that seaside. That is definitely you. So we have a mosaic suite. And we have our, our mosaic mood specialty designer series paper. And can you see that even with the glare? Look at those mosaic roses and butterflies and hummingbirds. Let me, I'm trying to get it all here. I know this one I'll be able to repack it so I can pull the whole thing out. Um, and if you feel it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got embossed images on it. Yep, yep, I'm looking, you can see. It's shiny. It's got embossed images on it. So this piece, and you get two of each sheet. So on one side is the hummingbirds, and on the other side is this mosaic pattern. The colors are nice together. All right. This one has this pattern on one side. And that on the other. This one. And look at that. Look at that. Look at those roses and those butterflies. I like this piece. Even this piece has um, the embossed layer. And on the back side is. Oh, wait a minute. So I messed up. Hold on. Okay. That's the back side of that one. So this one, you have this side. That's the back side of that one. And the way these birds are, yeah, you could throw that on your skin and cut. And just get the birds out if you wanted to. Sorry, I know I shouldn't say that on video, but, you know, we're crafters. We do what we gotta do, right? All right. That's the back side. And the flowers, and then this piece here. And this whole thing is embossed. And then that's the design on the back. Okay? All right. We'll go ahead and repackage that. Like I said, I knew I could open this one because of the way it was packaged. All right. And I'm not promoting the scan and cut for anything that we already have dies for. If we've got dies for something, I'm the first one to use the dies. But when we don't have dies for something, I am the first one not to fussy cut. All right. Okay, we ready for more paper? All right, this one is called our Woven Threads Designer Series Paper. And this is done in all of our ink colors. <clears throat> and I really like the way they, they um, mixed them up in here. All right, so we have that one. And on the back side of that, is just this muted pattern, okay? And we have this one. I like it. it, I feel like it should be textured. And that side. I love the way they mix the colors in. And that side. 
and the purple posy and the peacock and that side and then the peacock and that side all right so all double-sided for our designer series paper all right this is bird ballad so we have a great bird stamp set coming up in our new catalog but if you love to color and you love to color the birds um you're really good to enjoy it. but this paper is just fantastic all right, so we have the birds on this side, and on this side, look at that. Nice, subtle polka dots. We have more birds here. Oh, we have some stripes. And we have the flowers. Look at those cute little keys. Desiree, it's totally you paper. At least on that side. We have the feathers and the bird cages, because if you have a bird stamp set, you gotta have bird cages. I really like these cherry blossoms. I think they're terrible. They might not be. They look like it to me. Yes, lots of birds. And on the back side are seagulls. That side doesn't do anything for me. But that's okay. There's plenty in this pack that does. And that side is yellow. All right. So the colors that go with this, the other thing that I love about our paper, the colors that go with this are basic black, basic gray, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede, and Whisper White. You're thinking you should have ordered one. Oh, okay. Well, you can always, sorry, go in and order again. Um, anyway, uh, Karen's a demonstrator, so she can hit the pre-order. <clears throat> All right. This is the Perennial Essence Suite, and what I love it is... Um, <clears throat> They took pictures of the Monet paintings and turned it into paper. And I just love the colors in it. So this one, on, and then you have this side. I like these because the designs are big for scrapbooking. All right, but then we also have the other sides that we can make cards out of. That's really pretty. That'd be a really pretty Mother's Day paper for like a um, 3D shadow box. All right, and then that's that side. And then we have that side, which to me looks kind of cosmic, but it's got little flowers in it. I really like this one. They did do a lot of birds this year. They did. Um, but, the, you know, they're all different, which makes them kind of nice. All right, so we have this one. And the back side. And that one. And the back side. And that one. I really like the back side of that. All right? So that is those. All right. And the colors in the perennial essence. And this um, bundles with this stamp set and, 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 and this punch in a suite that you'll see once I get to your catalog. All right? Um, my catalog should be here on Wednesday. So if I see you in person, you'll be getting your catalogs at Coffee and Cards. Um or any of our private classes. If I don't see you in person and you place an order over the last three months, your catalog will get mailed out to you um, next week. All right, uh, this one is called Garden Lane and it's Garden Green, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, Soft Sea Foam and Whisper White. And I just, See, I got smart. I've, I've opened these now before the live instead of struggling with them on camera. All right, so look at these designs. Aren't these pretty? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to. There we go. I really like this side. I like that side too. Hey, Des. I'm glad you're on. You. <laughs> Yeah, I just went through some paper that I know you'll absolutely love. But you'll see it tomorrow when you come over. Look at that, isn't that pretty? But there's definitely some new stuff in here. All right. The other one, it starts with art. And this paper, Follow Your Art, Designer Series paper, is also in a suite, and that's in a suite with These stamps, these dies. Okay, and again, um, 
the product medley sweets are in the front of the catalog, which is kind of nice. And you can buy them in a bundle and save 10%. So I will show those to you when um, I give you your catalogs. Are you at Hershey Park right now? Well, thank you for watching from Hershey. Appreciate that. <laughs> are you guys taking a break? Is it raining up there? Or is it good? All right, so it starts with art. So we have this side, and then we have this side. Isn't that cute? This is definitely Kara McGraw paper. And then we have all of our coloring utensils there. Yeah, it would have been good for your remodel scrapbook. I like the glue guns. Isn't that cute? No rain? Okay. Well, thanks for taking the time to look. I know, Cheryl, I love this one too. I love the, I love everything about this suite. Look at this piece with all the scissors in it. All right, and that background and the clips. That and that piece with the stitching. All right, and the colors in this one are um, Basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Pacific Point, and Whisper White. Oh, yeah, hey, sorry. Unicorn Nails, yeah. That's okay, you know I want to do it again, but this time I want lime green. All right, this is our Magnolia paper that goes with that sweet. All right, look at these beautiful flowers. Come on, come on. Kathleen's favorite paper, here we go. All right, so we have the magnolias there. And in the back side, you have this ticking. Oh, aren't these colors beautiful? And the color in here is petal pink. It's petal pink and mossy meadow and Sahara sand. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love it. So you get two sheets of each. This one is packaged um, with one sheet and then uh, one sheet of each and then one sheet of each. I don't know why. I don't package them. All right. Come sail away. And this one, I have to find the open one. And this one, like the, um, like the others, is a bundle with the... Um, stamp set and the dies and the twine and a bunch of other stuff so i cannot open the catalog um you will definitely see it you will love it when you get it in your hands all right so you have your compass rose and the back side of that is the mapping look at the words and on the other side of that are the knots i really like that and the ticking here the sailboats just a beautiful beautiful suite love those I like this one with the lighthouse and the compasses all the tools and then the ticking there too so um watch out because this catalog is amazing absolutely amazing all right I think that is all that is in my box so let us go ahead and stamp these colors and see what they look like in ink. Let me grab a scrap. All right, and I can get one other thing, and I will explain it to you in its own video, but Stamp It Up um, has come out with another stamp cleaner, and it's this little stamp cleaner right here, and the pad is, is wet and um, and then make a refill for it and this will clean your photopolymer stamps it'll take some of that staining away so you know when we stamp with our with our clear stamps um, and depending on what ink we use um, the color really stains and it gets to the point that you really can't see um, you'll clean it with this and it'll lighten up the staining on the stamp so I'm gonna do a whole video on that on its own um, I got the thing. The refill wasn't available for us to get, so I didn't get that. So it'll wait until I um, get the refill to make the video. All right. All right. Hold on. Sorry, getting a block. Okay. All righty.
So there's our stamp. Let's go ahead and do it in Pretty Peacock first because that was on top. Let's ink it up. Look at that. Can you see that on there? All right, ready? And it started raining. Sorry, I can hear it in the back. All right. There is Pretty Peacock. Okay. Let's do Rococo Rose next. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So what set is that, Des? That is Floral Essence. It is this one. And it's the one that comes with the punch. And uh, these leaves will work with the punch from the Daisy Bundle from last year. All right. All right, Shell, here we go. I'm doing your seaside spray. Look at that. That's nice. I do like um, these colors. I'm very sad that Lemon Lime Twist is leaving. You know, it's my favorite color. You know, I'm keeping it. Um, I'm very sad it's leaving, but I do like the colors that we were given. All right, and this one is terracotta tile. I was saying that. There. Aren't those nice? Yeah, I'm happy with the colors. Happy. I can't wait to can't wait to get the purple posy. But I want it to work, so I'll wait. But anyhow, so that is what was in my box. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. So again, you'll get your catalogs. Those that I see for coffee and cards, you'll get your catalogs. Alright, and those that place an order with me over the last three months, you will get your catalogs mailed out. Um, I should have them Wednesday or Thursday, so they'll go out the following week. But you'll have them in plenty of time before June 4th, when they actually go live, and I can show you the inside. So, what is the rag I am using? Okay, so, um, we sell the Stampin' Chamois, okay, and it's, um, it's a thick, um, wet, uh, chamois that you just use water with. So, what I've got is I went to Walmart and I bought a chamois in the automotive department and it is it's big it's shoot I don't know 12 by 12 by 18 and I cut it into little pieces and um these are the ones I use when we have events and then when they get really nasty looking like this then they end up coming to my table um but uh it's just got water on it and it just takes the ink right off the stamps just like our chamois does but um again because i do a lot of events and i need a lot i use the car wash chamois um at my table instead but that's what that is cheryl so if it, nobody has any other questions um i have been up since 4 a.m i did take a little bit of a nap but i am exhausted i um had a work today, I teach gymnastics, and so between spotting kids yesterday and spotting kids today, um, I'm a little wiped out. So anyhow, I am going to head off to Night Night Land. I will make those cards tomorrow with our new ink colors and get those posted for you. And um, yeah, you can start thinking about what you're going to do with these colors. So thanks for watching. We've got coffee and cards on Tuesday the 14th at Zipani from 9 to 11. Um, that's our event coming up. Um, then we have birthday card bonanza coming up June 4th and all the information is on this page. Um, hope you guys can join us and I'll see you soon. This is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations and have a great night. Bye.